What's up everyone? My name is Wizard and today I wanted to share with you guys just how I managed to keep my cook pot clean and minimize the amount of work that I had to do while cooking along the entire Appalachian Trail. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so this is everything that's going to be required for your no mess cook setup. You will need a stove, a cook pot, a pouch cozy, and a freezer ziplock bag. Or you can clean out a mountain house meal bag after you eat it and reuse it. If you would like to know how to make a pouch cozy, there are lots of very well made videos already out on YouTube you should check out. I will leave a link in the description of this video of the one that I followed. Even if you don't want to cook like this, I still highly recommend you making a pouch cozy. It will save you a lot of hassle. Plus, when I put it in my pack, I actually use it as a little bit of extra cushioning between my food bag and my bag. Secondly, make sure that you are using freezer bags. I use gallon freezer bags for almost every dinner. I know it does use up more materials, but it's super easy and light to pack out. Alright, so let's get started. This is going to be super quick and easy. Read the directions on the back of whatever you're cooking. Look specifically at how much water is needed. Go ahead and start boiling your water. And while your water is heating up, you can tear open your food packaging and dump it into your freezer Ziploc bag. I like to go ahead and do this right after a resupply so I can just toss all the extra packaging. Once the water starts to boil, turn your stove off. That's right, this method is going to save you a lot of fuel. Go ahead and pour the hot water into the Ziploc bag, zip it up, and put it in your pouch cozy. The cozy is going to keep the Ziploc bag insulated so that the water will stay hot enough to let your food rehydrate properly. Depending on what you are cooking, it will take different amounts of time to fully rehydrate. Rice is going to take the longest to hydrate. I would have to wait upwards of 20 minutes before it would rehydrate. But if you start this process, then go ahead and start setting up your tent and all of your gear for the night. By the time you finish up, your food will be about ready. Once you are done eating, all that's left is rolling up your dirty Ziploc bag, zip it up, toss it in your trash bag, lick your sport clean, dry it with whatever rag or bandana that you keep with your cook kit, and you're all set. No mess to clean up. The rag that I use in my cook system is just a little thing that I picked up from REI. Uh, it doesn't really hold odors that much, so honestly, I use this is the one I used along the entire Appalachian Trail. It lasted me the entire way. I love it. And it's got a little gritty side on one side and a smooth side on the other. So if I do need to clean out my cook pot, this does help. I just get really sick and tired of cooking in this pot and then having to clean up all the black stuff and burnt food off the bottom of this. Honestly, whenever I boil more water in the future with it, it just I just don't like the idea of having all that old food in my cook pot. So this I used along the entire Appalachian Trail. See if you can see on the inside here, and it is still perfectly clean. So, this is the one that I used along the entire way. It lasted me the entire trip. This is the Tokes 550 milliliter cook pot. I recommend getting a size larger than this. This was a little bit too small for me. Uh, there were some times where I had to boil multiple pots of water, which does not save you fuel. But, you know, this worked for me in the morning when I'm making my coffee. Speaking of which, whenever I made my coffee in the morning, I did put it in this. But it's really just a liquid. There's no food that's going to get stuck to the inside of this. As soon as I'm done drinking it, I'll just pour a little bit of water in it, swish it around, dump it out, maybe put a little bit more water in, swish it around, pour it out, and then take this guy. If I don't have the time to set it out in the sun, or if it's raining or whatever, while I'm set packing up my tent for it to dry, I'll just go ahead and take this, wipe it around, uh, and then I'll go ahead and throw this in the laundry with the rest of my clothes. So, this stayed pretty clean most of the time. Sometimes it is a little bit wet when I'm putting it back in here, which, you know, it just, is like that sometimes. And my spork that I mentioned earlier, I love this thing. This also went with me the entire way. Uh, this is a Sea to Summit titanium spork. Uh, super light, long handle. When you're eating out of the Ziploc bag, it's nice to have the long handle. That way you can hold it here. Put this all the way in the Ziploc bag and you're not getting your hands all covered in food and stuff. And I know you're probably thinking that the Ziploc bags might be a little bit messy, period, but they're really not. Uh, if you eat all the food, you're going to be hungry when you're out there, so you're going to eat every single bite of whatever's in that Ziploc bag. Go ahead and just, you can literally squeeze the Ziploc bag, get all the food out, eat all of it, 
and then it's done. You know, you just zip it up, put it in your trash bag, and you're good. So I really like having simplicity and not having to clean up after I eat. Because usually by the end of the day, when I get to camp and I eat, I'm ready to go to bed. I don't want to clean out my cook pot. I don't want to have to walk a few hundred yards away from the campsite to clean it out. And even then, it's like I don't really like the idea of dumping, like cleaning it out and dumping stuff in a stream or on the ground because it's still just going to attract animals. So for me, it helps me to pack out everything, absolutely everything. I'm not leaving any food scraps on the ground. So it, for me, it does kind of, this pros and cons with it because yes, it's technically more leave no trace because you're, you're not cleaning out anything on the trail. You're able to throw it away, but you're also using Ziploc bags. So it, it goes kind of both one way and the other. So, you know, this is just the best that I can do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.